Hi, this is Phil Chandler. I've just come up to one of my apiaries and I'm just looking around to see what's going on. And there's this hive here, which isn't actually one of my hives. It's uh, a friend who has uh, this hive in this apiary. And uh, you can see they are in quite an excited state. And it's just after midday and it's the sort of time of the day and certainly the time of year when you would expect to see potential swarming activity. Now, I don't know anything about what's going on inside this hive. It's not my hive, as I say, I haven't, I've never opened it. So it's impossible to say for sure whether they are in their swarming mode, but it certainly looks that way to me, like they, certainly they might be. Um, this could be just intense orientation activity, but I'm just going by the sort of level of excitement here that it could be pre-swarming activity. Um, this is also, should we say, let's say another symptom of pre-swarming activity is often the presence of many drones flying uh, in and out of the hive. And you can see probably on the landing board here and certainly in the air, there are a, a large number of drones. And I always think that if there's a lot of drones in the air around a hive, and there's some excited activity, then swarming is probably not far off. So this is something you can diagnose from the outside of a hive, just from looking at the entrance. It's been cold and wet. It was cold through a lot of April, and it's been wet through most of May so far. We're in mid-May now. It's about, I don't know, 17th, I think, of May. And we've had a very unusually cool and wet uh, May. May is usually our most reliable month for weather, but this May has been pretty bad. It's been cold. The temperature's never got above 15 degrees centigrade, and mostly it's been 10, 11, 12, 13, something like that. Uh, today is a fairly typical day of late. It's been raining. It's going to be raining again before too long. Uh, temp air temperature, I would guess, at around about 12, 13 degrees which is definitely on the cool side for this time of year. And really it's too cool for bees to seriously consider swarming under normal conditions because we assume that bees have an understanding of temperature and weather. And we know, for example, that queens tend not to get mated with the temperatures below about 19 degrees centigrade. Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, Americans, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's probably somewhere around 70, I'm not sure. It's certainly not that, it's nothing close to that, and it hasn't, hasn't been close to that at all. Now, it could be that, of course, that bees are expecting the temperature to go up in the next week, or maybe they're just hopeful, I don't know. Um, and they are hedging their bets because they've hung on for so long. Normally, I would have expected to have been called out to, oh gosh, a dozen swarms by now. Um, I've had three calls, one of which turned out to not to be a swarm, and I've collected one swarm so far this year, which is, which is very unusually low. So I really don't know what's going on with the weather. It's, uh, it's not uh, normal, that's for sure. It certainly isn't warm. Um, in fact, the next person that mentions global warming to me, I think I might be punching them on the nose, frankly. This is a lively and excited bunch of bees. Whether they are planning on swarming or not, it's hard to say right now, but I reckon that swarming is in the offing very soon. Uh, I think the drones are, are hanging around because they know there's new queens on the way, and uh, that always attracts the attention of drones.